Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this eye look with the Fantasy Cosmetica Cradled in Ice palette. I was so caught off guard when they launched this collection. When I saw it, it was so beautiful, I had to have it. This is my very first Fantasy Cosmetica purchase and I have to say, I am so excited to try more. There will be timestamps listed down below if you wanna skip ahead throughout the video. Otherwise, just for a quick recap, I did pay $45 for this. I did use a creator code. There are plenty of them out there. I do not have one. Please use a creator code, save yourself some money. I also picked up two brushes from the launch. I picked up the F04 face brush, which is $30, and the E04, which is $13. Really excited to play with these. However, just for a fair disclosure, I did not use the eye brush, only the face brush today. And you guys know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I tend to do a variety of indie brands and luxury. I love this artwork. I think it's absolutely adorable. My understanding is that the owner's husband did this artwork. I think it's gorgeous. Naturally, I had to buy it. I picked up two brushes. I didn't want to pick up the entire brush collection just because I bought the entire Danessa Myrick's My Kit Co. Yummy, yummy Brush Collection. There was no point in me buying another brush set. This is the F4 brush. This is a large powder brush. I love the detail of the dragons. I think it's absolutely adorable. I would say this brush is as large as my Sephora face brush. This is the unique E04 brush. The shape of it is absolutely amazing. I don't have a brush for eyes shaped like this and it's described as a brush that's gonna make making a winged liner easier. For this look, I'm gonna be sticking to the right side of the palette here, working with more of the mobs. And I'm actually really excited because there's a couple shimmers in here that are neutral, but look like they're neutral with a twist, and I wanna give that a go. I'm gonna start with the shade Hideaway on my 27 brush, and I'm gonna build this up on the outer corner and in my crease. Ooh, that's a beautiful color already. I like that. I don't have any experience with Fantasy Cosmetica as I mentioned previously, so this is a very fun first impressions for me. I'm gonna try to get all the shadow off of my brush first, place it in the outer corner, and concentrate it here before bringing it into my crease. This is actually a really soft brush. I do like this brush. I'll come back and blend it, but for now I'm gonna move along and kind of buff out that crease a little bit. From here I'm gonna pick up the shade Adore. Not too much because that is some amazing pigment. I'm gonna buff out that shade with this fluffy brush here. This is blending so well. Not bad. Impressed with the map so far. I'm gonna go into the shade layer with a My30 brush. Just gonna build this up on the outer corner. I wanna place it first before I start bringing it into my crease. That is amazing pigment, holy moly. Wow, okay. You guys probably get tired of hearing me go wow, but honestly, this is a really great first impressions. I love it. I really want to get this off of my brush before I start bringing it into my crease though. I haven't seen any fallout yet, so that's good. And this brush should make it easy to kind of get it right up in that crease. bring it to an angle, which 
I like doing for my eye shape is bringing it at an angle. This brush makes getting into that deep crease really easy. I love this point. Amazing brush. Which honestly, that was the selling point for these eye brushes for me was the shape of these pointed brushes getting into my crease. Before I do any blending, I'm gonna pick up a My 17 brush and use the shade Lair for my lower lash line. I'm actually gonna use the mirror in the palette. Bring this about halfway around and then up to connect to that outer corner. One of the biggest things I look for in shadows, especially mattes, is if it's gonna irritate my eyes or not, if the formula is safe for my eyes. I'm gonna use a My24 and pick up the shade Adore on the tip of the brush here. I'm gonna use this to help blend out that deeper shade on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath Intensify stick and I'm gonna place it all over the part of my lid that has no shadow on it first. I haven't tried this formula to know how well it's going to stay. I don't know if I want to use this, this shade Treasure, Embrace, or Snuggle. Snuggle, Embrace, ooh. And, um, wait, don't, this one's Embrace, this one's Treasure. Interesting. This one's really chunkier than the other two. A little bit smoother. I'm going to start with Embrace. I'm going to put that in the, well, I may as well just use it because it's on my finger. Put that on the outer corner here. Well, closer to the outer corner outer corner with my finger. Very pretty, okay. Now I don't know if I wanna use this silver or this one, but I feel like Snuggle is a little bit more of a common duochrome. I think I'm gonna use this treasure shade. Place that all through the front half of my lid. Push with my finger first. Oh, so much damage done to my poor fingers from stress. I'm gonna gently press before doing any type of swipe. I'm gonna get it right up into that crease a little bit. And then I'm going to gently pat it over Embrace to kind of help blend them. And a bit in an angle too. That is beautiful. And now I'm gonna go into the shade Hatchling with a My18 brush. I'm gonna use this for my inner corner. Beautiful baby pink. <sighs> that turned out so pretty. I wanna finish this look off with just a touch of highlight in my brow bone. I'm gonna use my face highlight here. Pick up a little bit on this brush and just kind of get it right up in that brow bone. Here's my completed look. I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I used the Melt Gel Liner in the shade Haze. I also put on my Kiss New Natural Lashes in the style Gold Hoops. For the record, I am using the NYX Mauve Lip Liner in my Chanel 0600 Limited Edition Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick. This is it for this look. I am a little bit boring today. I only tried half of the palette. For my very first time trying Fantasy Cosmetica, I am super happy. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am to try out more from this brand after trying the matte formula, which is like incredible. I can't even begin to place it on a list of my favorite formulas because this surprised me and I've only used it one time, so I need to play with it more but it's, it's definitely so good that it caught me off guard. The shimmers are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to wear it for the rest of the day to see if it creases or not. I love the reflectivity in these. Very minimal fallout on my face. I was able to wipe that away pretty easily. The shimmers just are so beautiful. I'm curious to see these others, how they perform the next time I use this palette. For this cool tone purple look that I created though, I feel very sultry, a little bit vampy. I love the way it turned out, absolutely stunning.
The other palettes from Fantasy Cosmetica, while I think they're gorgeous and the color stories are definitely like, I'm vibing with them. I'm a huge video game nerd. I love my World of Warcraft. <laughs> Hearthstone, I'm not so good at just because like, I'm not good at, at card games so much. League of Legends, I'm good at the tutorial. That's about it. Overwatch, I didn't really get into it. I wasn't that big in it. Star Starcraft, old, if you remember Starcraft. <laughs> I sucked at that big time. A lot of the other games, console games, Castlevania, Final Fantasy. This is so up my alley. I love it. It reminds me of Game Beauty, the, the way that they do their palettes based off of games as well. I love the whole aesthetic of it. Dragons are everything to me. I can't find my dragon earrings, so I went with scorpions whatever. <laughs> I love it. I love the vibe. I can't wait to play with this half of the palette, use the blues, and then do a third look and combine these shadows and come up with a more creative look. I wanted to keep it more on the easy side for my first time playing with this brand because I didn't know what to expect, but it makes me want to buy the other palettes. There are so many good ones. Personally, I'm waiting for Holy Warrior. I love all things Paladin. There's, I don't think they have a cleric either. So I'm holding out for a Holy Warrior palette, something Paladin-esque. I just, I gotta have it. I'm waiting, something gold, yellow, please, please, please. That will be like, I'm sold, everything. <laughs> I gotta buy the rest though. I don't know if it performs as well as the other palettes that's yet to be seen from me. This is vegan and cruelty free. It is 12 months shelf life. I think that's amazing. I think this artwork is probably my favorite of all the palettes that they've launched. The face brushes, so I only used the one. I know I'm gross, I didn't wash it first. My bad. Whatever, I'll wash it, I'll wash my face, it'll be fine. This brush is so soft. I just love how beautiful the handle is and the ferrule. I think it's a gorgeous aesthetic with the dragon and the mountains. It reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Yay. Also. In case you don't know this, The Lord of the Rings will be replaying in theaters in June. I love that this has so much give and it's so flimsy in the hand. You can definitely use this to buff down your makeup, to use for all over powder like I did today. I didn't, like, it didn't disturb my face makeup whatsoever when I was buffing out my makeup. Because it has so much give to it, it is very soft. I would say this one reminds me more of my Sephora brush. So here's my Sephora brush. This one's Fantasy Cosmetica. This one's definitely been washed quite a few times over. As far as like size goes, they're very close. Ve as I hit myself, very, very, very close in size. I think when I wash the Fantasy Cosmetica brush, it will poof up as much as the Sephora brush did. In terms of softness, slightly softer. Part of me thinks that's because I've washed my Sephora brush so many times, but I'm excited to try that with my Fantasy Cosmetica brush. I love big brushes like this for powdering all over. I had every intention of using this eye brush, the EO4 from Fantasy Cosmetica. It's the shape that gets me. I adore this shape. I think it's very unique. I, I really wanted to use it today, but I also just needed to do something easy just to kind of test the formula. So I apologize, I did mean to do it. I'm gonna use it for my next look. I will make it a point to pull this out. I think it's very soft. It has quite a bit of stiffness to it, so I think it would actually be good for a coal or gel pencil to smudge that out. It's not too giving, so you could probably go ahead and use it for shimmer all over the lid as well, and for crease work. That actually might be of use to me as well. That is all for my thoughts on this brand. I'm excited to keep trying it and to keep playing with this palette. You guys know the drill. Everything on my face is linked down below. I am testing out a few new things today, so keep an eye out for the next video coming up where I go over all of these things. If you use my links to purchase anything, thank you so very much for supporting my channel. You guys are the absolute best. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.